card players what is gucci in the booty i am wolfgang one fourth of team starwin we're back with another duel video this my friends is a ferocious battle between myself wolfie who was on the right and i did not like my original hand so we had to get rid of that real quick and then we are playing jared one of our good friends we met through playing the tcg um and he is running um he's running ice ice wind yep ice wind he's always running some form of wind so i don't know why it took me so long to think of that jared is like a, the residential wind user but so he's running ice wind i am running a water wind we are actually at a venue in danvers massachusetts called toys and things and this place is awesome honestly he has tournaments every wednesday uh, sorry every thursday at 6 30 is it 6 30 it might be six it might even be seven no it's at seven i'm sorry between seven and 7 30 that's when the tournament starts and you get a promo on entry um it's five dollar entry and with that entry everybody gets pizza um and then you get a foil promo if you win plus store credit um it's just a it's awesome it's a great venue it's a great environment so check it out toys and things in danvers massachusetts if you're ever in town on a thursday but with that being said let's get to the duel we both start off strong with two with our two drop backups um he starts off with the oh he starts off with the kuja um that he swings with and runs into a leviathan i play my monk into a minwoo so i'm already that's like my prime play right there monk i mean not monk into minwoo but you know i want to get my minwoo out i want my turn my two drop turn one and then turn two i want a minwoo out when i'm playing my ice i mean my, when i'm playing earth water just because my earth cards are big so dealing damage to them is going to be pretty difficult but he summons uh he activates or plays i should say he plays Aerith, uh and brings out another kuja as well uh well it brings the kuja back out i should say which they are nice and shiny those those are some sexy looking some sexy looking kujas right there buddy i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to hold on to those but so we decide to we tap our minwoo and we tap uh we decide to to play steiner searching for zidane um who uh, well, he's just gonna end up dulling unless we decide uh to play it which we should honestly might as well just play it draw a card um so that when he does swing and dull he can't you know what i'm saying he can't just control us he can't just get through for the, the easy free point of damage um also i hate these sleeves i just want to i just want to throw that out there um these are the uh the new ultra pros i forget what they're called they have like the black inside um i forget what they're called the name is like on the tip of my tongue but they are terrible they're atrocious they die after like a week and they are so at least the yellow ones they are so extremely hard to shuffle with afterwards it's just atrocious i hate these sleeves so much i'll never play them again um but with that being said are we gonna play that zidane we should most definitely play. i guess we don't want to discard any card oh we just pass and we decide to eat the point of damage what are you doing wolfie what are you doing we're gonna eat this point of damage here in, in indubitably he taps to discards maria to play genesis um so i guess okay so i guess he can so he can get a forward out and doesn't have to use it oh so now next turn he can just control with his kuja he can just swing and keep my um keep my steiner frozen so that's unfortunate we should have most definitely um played the zidane i don't know why we didn't i don't know what i was thinking what was going through my head but you know you live and you learn that's what i always say whenever i make mistakes and um and, you know i see it afterwards or i see the the error of my ways it's just you live and you learn it's pretty much how it goes but let's see what we decide to do how we're gonna come back from this well not really come back i mean we're not in the worst position right now he has a very controlling field he can keep our steiner frozen and he can swing through or he can dull one of our forwards keep steiner frozen and have genesis discard a card from our hand so it's not looking good for us right now um we're bad we're backed up we're backed up and i see we have two leviathans which i decided to pitch one and so i pitched the leviathan to play zidane which i should have did that last turn but um 
yeah so what are we gonna do he has three cards in hand i'll probably make him yeah my opponent has that little cards in hand i make them discard a card just to we want to lower the amount of resources they have and we pass turn so yeah we we, we pretty much know what's gonna happen here he's gonna swing with the kuja freeze the steiner again freeze steiner yep and oh no he just does he just does okay so he just does interesting i would have i would have i would have i would have kept steiner ugly um but yeah so i saw we had atomos in our hands so we're gonna tap two discard one to play atomos on the genesis and he solaris oh my gosh that hurt that why does kuja die why did kuja die i'm not 100 percent sure why kuja died did i think i think that was a misplay there i'm not sure why kuja died but all right i guess we're just gonna move on from here um so yeah, that just, I'm sorry, that just messed me up real quick. I, comment down below if I missed something there. Why Kuja died? I don't believe Atomos went off anymore. Uh, I think we both, like, messed that whole play up. But comment down below. Let me know what happened if you guys saw something that I missed. But I summon Yang with no Ursula, unfortunately. And I have Shantado and Leviathan in hand. So, if, obviously, he's going to drop the Shantado for my hand. So we're just pretty much going to be screwed from here. Um, oh, he drops a Leviathan from my hand? He drops Leviathan from my hand. He dro I don't know what was going on this night. This is just craziness. I don't <laughs> um, there's just there's, there's just madness going on all up in this duel. But um, also, I'm sorry for the glare that's going on on his side. Um, I, you know, obviously, be, us being at a venue, I didn't have any control of the lighting. Um, but right now it's not looking good. He pretty much has full control of what's going on in the situation. Although he cannot, um, he can't get through our Yang because our Yang is too strong. But, um, he does have the advantage. He has four rewards. We have none. And he didn't draw anything to help him. So he's just going to pass turn. Thank, thank, thank you for Yang. Thank you for the Yang. Um... So Yang is Yang is our saving grace at this at this current moment. He's keeping us afloat. So let's see how we can kind of try and stabilize some way somehow. Um, oh, we just passed turn. We draw and pass turn. So yeah, dudes, this is looking. It's not looking good for me, man. I mean, he doesn't have anything crazy in his hand, so it's not like he can definitely get through the Yang. But I do see Sylph, and I believe Sylph. Yeah, Sylph adds. Mm, excuse me self adds a thousand power so we block he activates the self of course so now we're both at eight and he reactivates true um is there any way i can get out of that and we tap two we tap two and we pitch Okay, we tap two pitch already, and we're gonna play. Um, we're gonna play Atomos on his Genesis, which, which is cool. Which is cool. We're gonna deal his Genesis eight thousand points of damage, and does he have anything? I'm trying to see his hand. No, he doesn't have anything. So Genesis dies, and we are good to go. So Yang again is our saving grace. Shout out to Yang for holding it down for the squad during this this terrible time. Uh, we tap to dump a fairy to play to play Vincent. So now we got two AKs. So we all right. We we all right. He draws us. He draws a summoner and a devout. Um, although he has a full hand of cards, they're not they're, they're not seeing what we have on the board right now. He's not strong enough. Although he does have the um the Bart's in hand. He does have Bart's. Um, if he does play Bart's, we will be in a, in, a, in a little bit of trouble. But he dumps the Bart's to play Renoa. He dumps Bart's to play Renoa. Then he dumps two more to play Devout. Leaving himself with one card in hand. 
Wow, he went from a full hand to no hand. Quick. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. And we are not we have no problem with that because now we know we are we're, we're pretty much fine. We're like this is like our stabilizing moment right now. Although Renoa is annoying, still neither one of his forwards can get through either one of our forwards. Um and even if he got Renault with us, what he can get um just one point he can just get through for one point of damage. So we're not too worried about the Renoa right now. And not only that, we have Shintado in hand still. So the Renoa potentially won't even go off. So let's see what we decide to do. We're gonna tap um, we're gonna tap our Minwoo. Dump Steiner to play Ico. I'm gonna search out who are we searching out? We're searching out the Zidane. That's kind of interesting, ironic, and funny how we um, dump dump the Steiner to play Ico to search the Dane. Don't you normally do it the other way around? You search Steiner so you can play Steiner and then play whatever. This this whole game is wonky right now anyway, so we'll just see where it's going to go from here. Oh, he draws another Aerith, so he's protected. Not protected from, um, not protected from Shantado, but he, but he most certainly is protected. So he cracks off the Devout, and he is going to play... Looks like he's going for the Genesis. Going for the Genesis play. Going for the Genesis. Dulls and Freeze. Of course, the Vincent. Because Vincent can knock off two forwards from his board. And, wow, he just went all out. He just went wide. Quick. So, oh, yeah, that's frozen. Um, that's... <laughs> it was like I brought myself there. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's frozen. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, he went wide, so we have three backups. I, there's no reason to not play Shantado. We're going to swing. If he gives us the point of damage, okay. If not, fine. So he gives it to us. Cool, we'll take it. And now we're going to play that Shantado because he went wide and he only has one card in hand. So we're going to we'll, we'll take that. Three, four, five, six, seven. And bung for the Shantado play. Board wiping. We'll take that most definitely and we're just gonna pass turn and he draws another Renoa how annoying is that dude Renoa is just one of the most annoying guards in the game she's so annoying but so let's see what we decided to do here I saw we draw Rob on so we're gonna tap three uh, we're not gonna tap three we're gonna tap okay we're gonna tap these three we're gonna keep the shintado up we need we need our wild card um and dump oh we had steiner in hand okay okay that's why we searched out this day okay now it makes sense we were just prepping for the future okay Res i can respect that oh dude we drew rob on you know i i would looking at it now i would play um Play Zidane and then play Rob on. So now he's just top decking. Which I don't see why not. I mean, I guess we'll be top decking too, but we'll have two cards in hand at least. I mean, two cards on field. Nope. So I decided to not play Rob on. I would have played that Rob on, man. Hey, man. Just whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But so right now he's top decking. He taps, taps one and he decides to pass turn. Just decides to pass turn. Yep. So we swing. He blocks. All right. Cool. Swing. He doesn't block. Even better. You cannot go wrong with a non-block. I'll take that. I will take that. I will take that. We are. We are. We are stabilizing. We're here for the comeback. He exhausted a lot of his resources. Most of them, and we discarded what else he had. So um, we're doing good. And the main phase too. We hit him with the raw bond nice that's nice that's nice making the Renoa absolutely useless so we're seeing a comeback right now here guys we are we are on our way we're fighting up out of the pit right now um, especially because he only has two backups I just realized he's only had those two backups the entire time but um, so he, he, he spills his hand again to play Kuja and Dorgan um, and passes his turn so let's see what we do on our turn we can't crack off any of our oh no we can crack off the monk so if we did if we happen to draw something else that we wanted 
we um, we could play that. We can crack off the monk. But right now we're doing just fine with our swings. We can just get through on them right now. Get through on them right now. Boom, we're catching up. That's five points of damage. Main phase two. We are going to play Yang Ursula combo. Nice. So it's looking good. It's looking good. One, two, three, four, five. We have five points of damage. We were somehow able to. It's all that Shantado, all because of Shantado, and he went wide. Instead of dumping for whatever reason, instead of dumping Shantado, he dumped the Leviathan out of my hand. And that was our saving grace right there. So it, the, we're in this current position right now because of, of sheer luck, I guess, because it's just a misplay. One giant, huge misplay. We are in this position right now. And truth be told, I will take it. Um, I will take it. I will take it. But let's see what he decides to do. He's doing some thinking, debating, and contemplating right now. So he taps one, dumps both there to play Kumi. I suppose so I can't play any of my summons on him. Well, definitely so I can't play any of my summons on him. I have, I still have a good amount of cards in hand. Probably like, what, four? Four or five cards in hand. And we're running out of deck, it looks like, as well. But we have a, a very live um, Ursula combo on a, a Yang Ursula combo. And he has a live uh, Dorgan. So we have to be very wary of that. Um, and I'm doing some thinking, debating, and contemplating. So while I do that, I'm going to take this time to hydrate. So we go to attack step. We swing with our Steiner. And he's thinking about the block. Will you block or will you not? And he won't block. He chooses not to block. So we got six. Now we're feeling, we're, we're feeling really good now. Swing with the Zidane. And we're going to head on collision. Yep. And now you swing with the Yang because he can just Dorgan. Yeah. You swing with the Yang because don't swing with Ursula because he can Dorgan and then we'll die. Yep. So he's going to remove that. It's removed. Yep. There you go. <laughs> we're going to remove that. Then we're going to swing. Um, and we're gonna crack off the monk to kill it off and Main phase two. We still got more plays. We have more plays There's more things to do. We're gonna play Garnet. Is there another fairy in the deck? That'd be lit Fairy nice to reactivate the Steiner who is once again a 7k forward And now he has no cards in hand no cards on field He's gonna draw two. He's at six point of damage. We have a, we have three on board, so there's almost there's pretty much nothing he can do at this point. I think, unless he can find a way to survive for like the next, I, I it looks like I don't know like four turns, give or take. I have more stuff to do. We dump. Oh, okay. So we dump. Um, what's her name? And across to play a monk. And that's it. He scoops it up. He's got nothing. That's the end of the game. We came back from a ferocious, a ferocious uh, beginning. That was intense. Um, but that misplay with the Shantado really messed him up in the end. But that's it. That's going to do it for the duel, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace!